Skeleton King was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. Leoric should be in the unformed land, yet he stands between me and the fallen star. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Leah, you should not dismiss the signs so lightly. Do you not believe the evidence of... Deckard is home, rescued from the clutches of the Skeleton King. I'm so glad. But the Skeleton King? I thought he was a folktale. The idea of Mad King Leoric returning to torture this place. Hasn't Tristram suffered enough? Leah spent all night alongside the blacksmith's wife, tending the wounded. What? She didn't help you. Did you hear? Old Rumford has us down to half Blacksmith, Deckard Cain said you could help me find the crown of Leoric. Not now. That's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? It must be done, Blacksmith. I will help you. Thank you. Follow me. Hey, come over here. <laughs> have done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. I need your assistance, Hedrig. I search for the crown of York. I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town.
scavengers are ugly, pathetic creatures who survive off of carrion and corpses, too diseased to attract any other carnivores. I did once meet a raggedy fellow who claimed that he had trained one of the beasts to bring him large rats to eat. But I'm sure the story is utter nonsense. During the last days of King Leoric's reign, even the skeletons of the ancient dead could not rest. They took up their broken armor and weapons once more, ready to cut down anything that yet drew breath. So wasted and fragile, these creatures possess a twisted cleverness that makes them quite formidable. been known to devour their own young when no other nourishment is available. Their offspring, the imps, sometimes manage to flee and band together with other demon spawn. They rove in vicious packs, ready to descend upon the unwary traveler and rip his body to shreds with their tiny needle-sharp teeth. Spirits are bound within this trap. I spring it gladly. Most of these tortured spirits are free. I am nearly done. 